pray that y'all have a blessed and wonderful time, ladies. Thank you. And I pray that y'all have a blessed and wonderful time today. Thank you. Thank you. got here safely and it blesses me to see so many of y'all this year it's gonna be amazing i hope y'all are really enjoying the hotel and enjoying the fellowship tonight's gonna be incredible i mean and of course the young adults tonight get to hang out with me after service for the other event i'll be talking to the young adults about tonight and of course uh, y'all know tomorrow uh, pastor diamond will be preaching and I need all y'all on Friday night. Y'all already know. Get the queen. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> for coming out. We know that this is a sacrifice for so many of you. I mean, your holiday, your week ahead, everyone's busy. It's summertime. You could be anywhere, but you chose to be here with us, and we're just so grateful. We love you. It's so good to see so many familiar faces. Hello, hello, hello. I pray that y'all are having a blessed and wonderful time. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's my home. Our home, right? <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I, I'm mature enough now, but I can do it all by myself. I just need somebody here today who's a mature saint of God. Hi, my name is Sherman Miller. I am uh, here for the first time at the Full Gospel. Um, my connection is Mount Zion, uh, Antioch. Um, I, I attended this year. Um, I wanted to get in touch with some of my uh, DMV uh, Mount Zion members and attend uh, and just fellowship with uh, such a, a wonderful uh, ministry. Um, it's been a great uh, start so far, a lot of great singing, worship, praise and worship and teaching. Um, I'm just blessed to be here, and I, I enjoy uh, everything I've done so far and look forward to a great week. Hey. How you doing? Doing good? I'm well. Good, good, good to see you. Hey, man. Come on, let's do it, bro. Bishop Davis got me here working, doing right. behind the scenes stuff. Let's do I it. enjoyed your speech last night. And the chair right. blossom. Thank you. Hey. Come on, let's do it. Hi, right, team. Can Come I get on, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let me go holler at him. You're doing well? Yeah, come right. Come right here. Thank you. I tell you what, I'm so glad to be here, man. I had to drop in on the coolest young people on the planet. 
I know y'all having a great time, and I'm just so excited uh, to just be able to come and rock with y'all. Y'all ready to do it, huh? Yeah. Y'all think y'all got it going on, huh? <laughs> I love it. Thank y'all so much, man. We're so happy to have y'all in D.C. And uh, wherever you came from, whatever church, no, we love y'all. You have a great week. It's going to be great classes, great stuff happening. So thank y'all for the rock. All right. All right. Y'all think I can jam with this band one more time? Can we jam one more time? Just one more time? Hold on. I got something special. You ready? That was fun. <laughs> What's y'all? Hey, hey, <laughs> why are you? <laughs> right, exactly. Most. They're my brother. They're my real brother. They're my real brother. We grew up together. Mm -hmm. Bunk bed. Bunk bed. Mm -hmm. Who's on top? I was on top. I was on the bottom. Yeah. And he fell on me. All the time. All the time. <laughs> the kids having a good time? You stop nagging the fool, playing yeah. drum. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. I heard you it's called rock. Oh, you been smashing, man. We, <laughs> I, I'm I wouldn't have smashed it. I'm gonna put you on the No. Day. <laughs> yeah. No. Hey, fam. <laughs> <laughs> Some nice shoes on too. Look out. Yes, okay. I'm good. Hang out. Fellowship with the people. Yeah. Hey y'all. Hey. How you doing? Hey. Hey. I was like, you don't know who I am. <laughs> this is Diamond's grandmother. Remember. You excited? I am. It's going to be amazing today, right? Yes, right. History yes, of Fall Gospel. Yes, like this. yes. I'm yes. so proud of her. I know we you are. Yes. Thank you. Good to see you. Yes. Good to see you. Yes. Hey, sweetie. Huh? I'm well. Oh, tell Jess, say hey. Hey, man. You got it all fucking out. Good. Yes, sir. Good, good to see you. Hey. Hey, how you doing? Hey, how are you? Good. 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 I'm well. Hey. How are you? How are you? Hey. Hey. I'm here with the founder. Founder. Oh man. Oh, this is the dope again. Come on. Oh, oh, team coming. No, no, they coming, man. This is oh, important. No, man. no, no. So. Oh, no. 
This is one of the founding fathers. Hold on, I'll right here. Yeah, one of the founding fathers of Full Gospel. My friend, Bishop Carlos Malone. Now you go back to them VHS tapes and you hear, I'll stand until. This guy right here. Oh, great man. leader, great pastor. You about to retire? Yes, sir. You about to hang it up? Yes, I'm, I'm retiring from the pastor. That's what I know. Though. From the pastor. Clearly. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, how sir. Long you been, how long you been pastor? At Bethel, 33 years. 33 years. And a total of 42 years from East St. Louis and Daytona. So last night was your first night uh, back in eight years. Gospel. You started. Eight I know, yeah, eight years. Mm -hmm. And you, you were there. You were found father. Absolutely. How did it feel for you? It was uh, one of the most honorable um, opportunities. Um, it was a, it was an opportunity that um, really really allowed me to grow and to really discover yeah. the depth of what uh, what I had been feeling and things that. Uh, you know, when you don't know that other people feel in the same way you feel in it, yeah. you finally come to that. But just to have that opportunity to serve along, uh, serve alongside Bishop Morton was one of the greatest honors. He and that vision was, was the thrust of, of my excitement. For gospel did it when our church was, y'all took a big risk. Nobody was willing to accept it. Y'all marginalized, ostracized. You got all these stripes to show for it. <laughs> Absolutely. And then churches changed so much. And now Bishop mm -hmm. has done something that's unprecedented. You know, he's Absolutely. passed it on to me mm -hmm. while he's still living. And now you're able to see the baby grow up 30 years old, 30 years fully old. grown. Absolutely. How, how do you, what do you see now when you see for a gospel? Like when you guys envision it and now you see it now. How you think we're doing? And I mean, honestly. No, no. I, I mean, I think, I mean, in all things, all things considered, you know, now that everybody has caught, yeah, caught a wave. Yeah. I'm not the, gonna say the wave, yeah, but everybody caught has a caught yeah, a wave. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's very popular now. Yeah. So, like a lot of conferences, yeah. people weren't having conferences. Yeah. So, so now people are kind of getting tired of them because yeah. uh, a lot of them don't really offer the substance like right. the full gospel right. offers. Right. But uh, I think you guys are doing a really, really good job. I think that that there needs to be a merging of the two. I think in terms of the, the founders um, and the existing leadership, there needs to be more conversation, more connection, more yeah. relationship and dialogue, yeah. Yeah. because I think that uh, when you when you put both of them together, man, you got a power. It's, powerful, right? it's, it's very, right. very powerful. The legacy and destiny. That's right. Yeah. I like that. Legacy <laughs> and destiny, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so I, I think that um, with the, looking to the future, something God is up to something. He is, right? You know, something is happening here. I, 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 and I'm not saying that. Yeah, I know it's, I, I'm not I, I, guessing no, it. No, something I is know. happening. Yeah. And I believe that uh, this is an opportunity uh, for a new a new beginning to uh, thrust into some some, some more it. some more powerful deep waters. One thing is absolutely certain: there's no place like for God. Absolutely, ain't no question about it. Searched all over. I can't find no other. <laughs> My man. First time, good to see you. Oh, God. My daughter, weeping Mary, after we had visited your, your church. Oh, my, she was like, I was sitting right next to her, but I was so into the service, and they were like, you didn't see her crying? So her new name is like Weeping Mary because your ministry had such an impact on her when she was there. We thoroughly enjoyed ourselves. It was, we had such a wonderful time, and we will definitely visit again whenever we're in Tennessee. I think they're trying to make me come and move to Tennessee and come on, church. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get my game up there. No, I'm just kidding. Uh -huh. No, it's so good to okay, see you. Okay, but always good to see you. All right, all right, all right. Take moment in our ministry and our life. We cover her in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Proud you, of you. Amen. Thank you. Father, we thank you now for the breakthrough. We thank you for the power of this moment. I want you to extend your hand toward this woman of God. On her, on her right side is her maternal grandmother. On her left side is her paternal grandmother. This is what full gospel produced. 
This is what your vision produced. I just want you to extend your hand with this kind of anointing on her life. We got to cover her. Father, thank you for the generational blessing that's on her life. That God, we have witnessed a 27 year old stand with an age old anointing. And God, we thank you for the legacy that's upon her life. She's a mouthpiece for a generation. Uh, you did something in this moment. And I pray, God, today she will keep her covered. I thank you that she's got praying grandmothers, praying mother, praying family, and a praying fellowship. And for what we have received today, we give you glory. And we give you praise in the name of Jesus Christ. We rejoice because we don't always have to be the one that's a gatekeeper. We can just be helping folk get to the gate. And we thank you today. And we consider it done in Jesus' name. I need everybody to give him glory right now. Come on, give him praise. Come on, give him glory. Uh -huh. This is my wife Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. Nice to see you. Good to see you. How are you? Good to see you. 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 Incredibly humble. Hi, how are you? We found our best ankle length dresses <laughs> and pants suits <laughs> that we get for the full gospel. Yes. Chris was threatening that he was going to give us the cloth. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I get it. I get it. Oh, I get it. Okay, let's get it. Seriously. Powerhouse. Oh, wrong. Oh, you can. Thank you.
I know where God has brought us from. And what can you say about our presiding bishop? My mind is made up. My God to the family's home. I need somebody. Hello, my name is Brian Watson. I'm a, a member of Mount Zion Baptist Church, been a member all my life. This is my third full gospel, and I can say um, it's been nothing but inspiring. I've met a lot of people, gained some new ideas, and you know, inspired me to leave with a new goal. It's been a real good time in DC. I've had fun with family and friends, and you know, uh, us gathering together, making the devil mad. Can't be mad at that. I'm having a good time. Hello everyone, I'm General Overseer Tanisha Craig Stewart over Health and Wellness. This year was amazing, church fit was dynamic. We had dynamic trainers, but we had dynamic people that got up and got moving. And that is my initiative as your new General Overseer is to live life and live life abundantly. Remember, God has given us one temple and we have to honor it. So this year was excellent, but we're gonna go higher and higher next year. God bless. We have mourned to you, ye have not wept. For John the Baptist neither came neither eating bread nor drinking wine. And because he was disruptive, I added that. You said he had the devil. Now, he is rebuking the Pharisees for not responding to John the Baptist, to put the text in context. But what is amazing to me that he, he categorizes both groups as being like children sitting in the marketplace. They joined the fellowship, but they were just spectators. They were seeing God move in others, but they hadn't had him move. All right, three, two, one. Very right, big, beautiful, lovely. Hey, Jojo. Hello. Pray for you, sir. I need it. We know you got it. This isn't Amazon, I think. No, that's Target. Oh, okay, okay. Target. Okay, I'm just gonna. It's an excellent store. I understand. Hi, my name is Stephanie Turner. I'm a member of Mount Zion. I've been at Mount Zion since 2009. Um, I love Bishop Walker, and I am full with what he preached today, tonight. My name is Frank Turner. Uh, I'm her husband. As a matter of fact, I met her at Mount Zion. Uh, we've been participating in the Full Gospel Conference uh, ever since I've been a member here. And the only time that we've kind of slacked off was during the pandemic. But I want to encourage any person, any group, any pastor, if you ever get an opportunity to attend the conference, please do. Uh, it's amazing. It's, it can't be put into words. The presence of God is here. It, it is thick. There's nothing fake. It's not religion. It's real. You're around several people that are spiritually mature to, to, to feed you, so to speak. 
Uh, if you come with an open heart, you're bound to get some confirmation somewhere between the beginning of the conference and the end of the conference. But all I can say is you have to experience it. Words cannot describe how amazing it is. And in today's society, we need God because everything is crumbling apart. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 